once you have each section of your pumpkin filled in with dots, defining the edges of each section by a half circle or the dots gradually getting smaller as they near the edge, then you are ready to erase your pencil lines. So you're going to take your eraser and erase all the pencil lines. Okay, once you have all the pencil lines erased, then you're going to take scissors and carefully cut it out right on the edge of those half circles or where these small circles define the edge. Rotate your paper so that you can get into those crevices. Remember, part of your grade is always craftsmanship. So I'm not looking for you to have a big white, or not white, orange, whatever color paper that is, um, left on the outside, okay? So, let me cut this off. This is junk, okay? You need to be right on that edge so that it looks like that, okay? I'd rather you go a little bit inside and just create more half circles than be way on the outside and have this excess paper outside of your pumpkin shape. Okay, once you have your pumpkin cut out, um, then you're going to take some liquid glue, I'm going to flip it over to the back. Remember, a little bit of liquid glue goes a long way. You're just going to outline your pumpkin along the edge. We don't need a lake of glue. If you wanna do a, a couple little stripes of glue um, through the center, then you need to stand up and um, center your pumpkin onto your paper and press it down. You're gonna place this in the drying rack to dry so that glue doesn't get on anybody else's. Um, and then I will be creating another video on how to create your next project, which is the Zentangle Cityscape. I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, can't wait to see all of your beautiful Yayoi Kusama inspired pumpkins. <laughs>